How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb Man here, and it's time for another NHL 14 OTP Tactics video. And this time, I'm going to show you guys how to play like the Perimeter Playmaker. The role of the Perimeter Playmaker is to maintain puck possession, it's to get the defense chasing, and also to create offense with some nice passing. So let's not waste any more time and get right into it. In NHL 14, for the online lobbies, you'll notice that a lot of players have a tendency to move the puck into the middle of the ice, looking for that great deke, that highlight reel goal, that last minute cross crease, but a lot of the times, you give the puck away, causing turnovers. This is not what a perimeter playmaker does. This is not maintaining puck possession, this is not making defenders chase you, and this is not creating offense with a pass. This is simply turning the puck over to the other team. The perimeter playmaker keeps the puck alive. Watch this play, our left winger keeps Keeps the puck to the outside, maintaining puck possession. He gets the defenders to chase him, and then he creates a little bit of offense with some nice passing. That is what the perimeter playmaker does. So watch this play right here. 0-0 game, 1925 of the first period. This is a perfect example of a team maintaining puck possession and making the defenders chase. Look at the Detroit Red Wings here. They're not looking for that backdoor pass, looking to deke into the middle. They're simply taking advantage of the space the defending team is giving us. And watch the pass count number. Look at all these passes. Look at this great puck possession the Detroit Red Wings are on. Now, as the Toronto Maple Leafs, this is so frustrating. Have you ever been on a team that just can't get the puck? You'll do stupid things. You'll start chasing the uh, puck carriers, taking penalties, and this is a great way to get your whole team into the play, especially in the OTP lobbies. Pass it around, make everyone feel like they're actually part of the play, you'll get people playing in their position. Look at this, we're up to 17 passes, 18 passes, 19, we get the good chance, take the shot, but most importantly, first period, 13 minutes. We've killed 6 minutes in the offensive zone, that's great defensive hockey. Now obviously you can't keep cycling the puck forever, your team has to eventually take a risk and try to create some offense with the pass, but the point is as the perimeter playmaker, when you finally do decide to try to create some offense with that cross crease pass or attacking the middle, you want to make sure that the pass gets there. The perimeter playmaker again maintains puck possession. Watch this play. Our left winger gets the puck behind the net. Now he's scanning the area. He has got the center in the middle who looks kind of open and the right point guy who's wide open. But here's the problem. They may be open, but the line from the puck to both those players are not. You have three Montreal Canadiens blocking the line from the puck to both those players. So the cross crease isn't there. A lot of people will make that mistake thinking that those players are open, try the pass and simply get the puck intercepted. So when you finally do decide to send that pass into the slot, just make sure that from the puck to the player you're passing to is open. Look at that play right here. Nobody's in the way of the player that I'm passing to. That's a gimme. You pass it to him. Goal is scored. Watch this play now. It's a clear three on one. Obviously, you want to send the puck over to the left winger or the center, but if you send an automatic pass, it's going to go right through that defender. So instead, send a saucer pass. Aim to the slot where the left winger is going to be, and you'll avoid that defender. Watch the play. The sauce pass behind the defender's legs. Left winger picks it up. A nice little drop pass to the center. Goal is scored. Perimeter playmaker. You have to make that pass. Now, if you're looking for a play that will get the defenders to start chasing you to open up the slot to go for a cross crease, the rollout is the perfect play for you. It only takes two forwards and some simple passes along the boards. Watch this play. Our right winger starts the rollout, skating up the boards, sending a saucer pass back below the net. Now watch, our right winger goes to the net, and because he sent that saucer behind the net, everybody follows the puck. Same thing, our left winger this time sends the puck down to the right winger. Everyone forgets about the left winger. Nice little pass. Goal is scored. Now, just because you're a perimeter playmaker, that does not mean that you can't attack the net and try to get some goals yourself. I mean, look at this play. Our left winger picks up the dump and chase, sees some opening in the slot, attacks it, and gets a goal. That's fine, but you just have to make the right decision. If it's there, take it. If it's not, don't take it. Look at our right winger. Tries the same thing from the other side, doesn't get there. All right, now watch. I'll rewind this play. Look at the options that were there. I could have gone around the net to the winger. I could have gone back to the point to the defenseman. Instead, trying to go into the middle as the perimeter playmaker. If it's there, take it, but if it's not, advance the puck. Now, when it comes to rush offense, there's a few things that the perimeter playmaker can do. A great weapon that you can use is hitting the trailer with the pass. A lot of teams tend to collapse into the slot trying to block that cross crease, so if your center is open, hit him with the drop pass and let him load up with a slap shot or a wrist shot. 
If you want to spread out the defenders off the rush, one thing you can use is after crossing the blue line, you know, you don't know if this defender is going to come and try to body check you. So hit your left winger on the goal line by passing it up around him. Watch this. You send the pass up around the boards. Watch all their team. They all have to shift to the left side. Our left winger back to the point. All right, we have the puck in possession in their zone. You can also go back to the defenseman. Watch this play. Our perimeter playmaker breaks it in, stays to the outside, crosses the goal line, and right here, everybody on their team is thinking that I'm going around the net. This will open up your right defenseman. Send the pass back along the boards. Watch this. When he gets the puck, look at all the time and space that he has to make a decision. Okay, so you can use the winger around the net. You can go back to the defenseman to try and start a cycle. There's so many things that the perimeter playmaker can do. Watch this play. Using the drop pass getting the defender in on the offense. Watch, nice little drop pass. Gets open for the right defenseman. He gets it back, gets another drop pass to the defenseman, get, giving him a great opportunity to score a goal, all right? So perimeter, per, perimeter playmaker, just remember three things. Maintain puck possession, make those defenders chase you, and create offense by making some nice passes. All right, boys, so there you go. There's the OTP tactics for the perimeter playmaker. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you in the next video.